Right, day two, Thursday the 18th of July, and um, it's a bit of a grey day today. However, the plan is that uh, it brightens up by lunchtime, when hopefully I'll be on top of Dunkery Beacon, all 1500 foot of it, for some good views. Because today I'm doing the hardest of the walks that they uh, offer here to self-guided walkers uh, 11 mile up to Dunkery Beacon and Great Row Barrow so uh, fingers crossed the weather plays ball because uh, tomorrow Friday my last full day here and it's due to be a wet one which is why I'm doing the walks in the order that I'm doing them if I do one at all tomorrow, it'll be a short one probably. Anyway, it's 10 a.m. Let's crack on and see uh, what awaits us. Just after Gun Cottage is the faint path that we take next to the wall. Left here through the gate at the T-junction, straight on across the field. That's the ridge line that uh, I'll be walking along later. There's Dunkery Beacon. Lovely views. I'm gonna pass Gladstone's tree in a second. I'm not sure if you can read that, but the tree was planted by William Ewart Gladstone. 26th of Jan 1877. The roots have pushed the uh, headstone out somewhat, but it's a, an oak, so coming on 150 years old now. Still quite small, but nonetheless, that's Gladstone's tree. From another angle. Stood by the lodge, views back to Selworthy Church. The reason it's white apparently is so it can be seen. Simple as. So a local told me. village around about. Somewhere up there will be the beacon. So there's the lodge. Got gentle incline thus far. A mile into the walk now up this quiet country lane, hazel bordered, fantastic, ferns on the other side, really is wonderful. Okay, you finally get to a crossroads, and as you can see, Dunkery Beacon, two and a half mile, up that road there, but uh, probably a bit longer the way we're going which is turned right and then left onto a forest track. Through this uh, high gate and fencing indicating there's deer around. Wonderful mixed woodland we're going through. Excellent. Another view of the church and the village. Selworthy. My woodland track continues up for another 20 metres and bare left. Bossington Hill over there and beyond that South Wales. 
which is uh, much clearer today, which bodes well for when I get up high. At this uh, forearm finger post, follow the path to Weber's post, which is straight ahead in predominantly beach territory now, having just walked through a commercial section of evergreen coniferous. All sad to see a big healthy beach felled by the wind, but there you go. Underfoot the walking's perfect. Sandstone kind of material, leaf litter on top of that. Nice and springy, good for the old joints. Well signposted this walk. Continue straight on here. Not right to his honours path. Interesting. Wonderful valley view here. And the clouds starting to break already. Fantastic. Look at that lovely wooded valley. The ridge isn't uh, that far much further on actually. So uh, soon be there by the looks of it. Finally reach Jubilee Hut. Uh, find out what that's about in a second. Wonderful views from it. Bench there as well for Elevenses, for those that wish. And there's the uh, destination, which seems clear cut actually. See a track or road up there, which is always bad news. Right, there's a seat commemorating Victor Bonham Carter here, writer and president of the Exmoor Society, who lived to be a good age. I wonder if he's any relation to the Helena Bonham Carter clan. A name like that he has to be. There's one of these fancy uh, apps about the Coleridge Way. Didn't realise we were on that. Have to check that. And then you've got a dedication to the Ackland family who of course donated all this land. I wonder if the old chap's still alive. He'd be 90 now. I presume he is. And there's another dedication. They all live to good ages, these people up here. Unsurprising really. That's a good one. And finally, I believe I'm now on the easy access path to Weber's post. I'll know when I pass some uh, wooden sculptures apparently. So here we have a uh, memorial seat telling us a bit about the Ackland family. Five thousand years, eight thousand four hundred acres. Summer state, eh? Can't read that bit. Anyway, the lease for five hundred years, sorry, <laughs> not five thousand, good God. 
and that's the vista from said seat. And here's one of the artworks referred to in the text. Information panel here about Weber's post. Google that if you wish to learn more. Cracking vista though, as uh, the day starts to brighten up. Wonderful. More Exmoor ponies. Like I say, very similar to the New Forest ones. Although they are distinctly different breeds, I believe. Now leaving the Trusts Weber's post. Onward journey, I do believe, is along a faint path here in this wooded area between the two roads on my right and left. Great views on my left as I ascend Easter Hill. I think I'm on the right path, but it's slightly different to what's written in the text which concerns me somewhat, but uh, let's see what pans out. Things do change. As I say, I'm walking uphill, Easter Hill, following this track. Looking back to Selworthy Church once again. Okay, I'm back on track. Managed to find the bridleway between the two roads somehow. One of the roads is called the County Road. Views back to the sea. Bossington Hill there. Quite chilly up here now as I ascend. Perfect walking weather though, little bit of breeze. Descending a little bit here to cross that little stream, gurgling stream. Wonderfully peaceful here now. Now into proper hill walking territory. Wonderful view of the sea over there. And uh, once again, that building, the white church at Selworthy. You can see why they painted it white now. Okay, I've reached this lonely, stunted tree here. And judging by the map, that farm building immediately on my right. So you don't go ahead here, turn left on an initially grassy path, I believe. that is. I can guess it's either because I haven't got my glasses on. I'd imagine it's one of the Stark family. Let's check. 
check that when I get to, to edit the video. Anyway, it would appear that I'm on the right path here which is through heather and gorse looking down to the coombe on my right I think that's uh, Dickie's path on the map somewhere down there wonderful views again losing sight of Selworthy now as we come round the uh, hill more ponies ahead of us and there's the beacon almost in touching distance some of those birds singing again whatever they are Okay, views back as I look north westwards just prior to hitting the beacon itself. There's the old uh, Porlock Bay down there. And as forecast, 12.20 now, the sun is almost out, quite blowy though as you can possibly hear. views towards home and I've run out of battery how annoying forgot to charge it up last night oh dear just as I approach the beacon sorry folks terrible is indeed very annoying. A massive oversight on my part was checking the battery last night because obviously I don't normally do two consecutive day walks like this so uh, unfortunately I'm going to have to curtail this filming now as I'm in the danger zone no battery as I say real shame because I'm only halfway through it but at least uh, we reached Dunkery Beacon and ahead of me there looking south towards the rest of Somerset the lovely patchwork fields that we have in this country so they should be so I'll do a brief report when I get back to the house because I probably have enough juice left for that but that's all so quickly I'm now back at Honeycut House the remainder of that walk from the beacon down was predominantly through the wooded Horner Woods and wonderful it was. Didn't see a dipper unfortunately which was my goal today but the uh, sun came out and the uh, weather was excellent. I recorded 11 and a half mile and 5 hours or 4 hours 57 walking time obviously speed it up because I wasn't filming but anyway I won't do that again forget to charge up the camera because uh, 
you've missed out on some good viewing there, albeit it was predominantly woods, so um, would have been a bit limited, but very attractive walking it was, highly recommended. Let's see what day three holds tomorrow. Rain is forecast though, so uh, might not be back on air again. Cheers.